Hi guys, I just want to share my experience with you. I believe that uh, I have a problem with my uh, timing chain and uh, I couldn't get cylinder number one, cylinder number four to go up. So I put the zip ties and wash them and I keep them turning and I can show you here the marks, the white ones. I got to the top that center, but nothing happened. So I believe what, what I was turning that I was watching down there that's the camshaft here and it's not turning at all also before I took the distributor I noticed that the distributor itself is not turning so as the oil pump inside there it was not turning either so that tells me the chain on the bottom is uh, is out so uh, I'm gonna have to work on it take everything off so far this is where I am I want to share my experience if you are having this problem when you want to you turn the ignition to start the car and you hear like this it's like the noise coming um, like the noise almost like the starter is not catching that's not the starter this is what I'm having problem with is the chain I think the chain came out from the bottom and uh, we're gonna investigate more I want to share one thing with you also when it comes to the harmonic balancer, I use this number six puller and it works like a charm. You just take this tip here to the center, over there, like so. And the arms will go around the pulley, on this side here. And you tie it with number uh, 19 here. And it come out just easily, no kicking, nothing. This cover here, goes all the way down to here to the oil pan it's held in place by a few bolts and nuts there is four on the top here same size and one is here okay then there is a uh, two on the bottom here the bottom one is shorter than the top one okay this one here is shorter so I took them both off number 10 I took the four bolts of the pan, uh, oil pan in the front. There's two here and two on the side. So, but here this is short, this is long one. Make sure to note that. Then uh, I took another one from here. Now, when it came in here, it uh, changed to number 12. Uh, before it was number 10, but this side, somehow it's 12. So I took on this here, here. The top one is longer the short one is 12 and it's shorter so the short one was here and the long one was here right here okay just number 12 i have to take the oil pan off because there is a bolt here you can see it let's see right here you can't reach it unless you take the the oil pan off so that's another one here and uh, I'm gonna go around and check also here is another one right here it's look like it's a number 12 as well so I'm gonna label them this is the best way to do it after you take all of the bolts around the cover make sure not to forget this one here it's hidden behind the, the distributor or the housing and uh, then you disconnect these two hoses, one here and one there. And you should use a pray bar and play like so. This, play, I thought it's easy, it's not a problem. Just make sure to take out of the bolts and label them and you should be okay. Now we're gonna see what's the problem after we take it. There we go. And let's see. All right, I can see one piece is popping out. Some pieces fall out. The cover here. Okay, look at this. This is what happened. Wow, it did break. Unbelievable. All right, looks like the, the wheel here is broke and it's gone. The pieces metal so that's what causes all this problem let's hope they're not 
other serious problems. This is a piece of the piston, the tensioner piston. So that explains a lot. That's why it was all the way out. The guide they don't look bad, but it's a job that I need to do to replace everything, I guess. <laughs> All right, well, that's answer uh, my question. Wow, the wheels, oh, the teeth. I can't believe it. This piece here is bent. I don't know what it is. Okay. Okay, guys. Uh, I was able to get a magnet and squeeze it under here. I couldn't find the uh, really no debris, much metal, but I did find all the pieces from the sprocket that goes in the cam shafts. And here are all the pieces. I connected them. So that you can see. There they are. So, uh, so now I'm gonna go ahead. The guys look good. Everything looks good. I'm gonna get a new tensioner. But matter of fact, I'm gonna go ahead and change everything. I already opened the engine. Like I said, I bought this car last year and. Uh, uh, the guy seemed like he was taking care of it, but since I opened everything, I'm just gonna put a new kit and uh, get this thing going. So, if you hear noise that the car will not like it seems like it's spinning, and when you turn the this bolt here from the crankshafts, and you don't see the rotor, the distributor, the, the timing or the distributor not turning. That's that's probably because of this this chain is, is either full came off or this pocket here is broken. That that was my case. Okay, guys, uh, I took the valve cover off and the timing ch chain cover off. And of course, uh, to get here you have to take off the the belt, the fan, the radiator. And uh, now uh, the things you need to watch for is this uh, chain cover okay I'm gonna show you what you mean see here see here this uh, there is we're gonna count them here is one two and look there's one hiding here three four five six okay seven and eight these two here you cannot get to them unless you take off the oil part so nine ten eleven and twelve okay one more time one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve bolts they are different sizes some of them are long as you can see here this is long this is short you can label them uh, I leave the thermostat I leave the hose in there. This is the water pump. I'm gonna change it. Our other kit comes with everything, almost, including even this seal. And uh, the PVC valve is this one here, actually. If you wonder what's this, it's the PVC valve. And uh, it makes in ways that means it's working. So I'm gonna leave it. Maybe spray some brake cleaner or something. I'm gonna change the thermostat. I'm gonna change the water pump. It comes with the kit. I bought it like for ninety-seven dollars from Amazon. And uh, this is the valve cover. It has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And this four screws or bolts is one here, two, three, and four. Those are on the uh, the outside that uh, hold the bracket. Okay. The kit has the chain, has the camshaft, back shaft pulley, uh, and even has the, the what they call it, this thing is called the pressure, I believe. Um, 
chain tensioner. So this was for the chain. Is this one to the old one? Okay. I counted the chain. They are the same exact as the other one. And the kit you'll get uh, the water pump as well. And you get the oil pump and gaskets. Is the work pump. It's in the package. And that's basically it. So, uh, go back to the chain. Tell me chain cover. Do not force it. If you force it, you may break something when you take it out. Make sure that you take off all the bolts, especially these two here. They are hidden. And uh, in the bottom, you see here, I'll show you this two here. These are connected to the oil pan, so you need to take these two off. I, for uh, f uh, to make it easy for me, actually took even the one from here and one from here just to be sure. So, you need to be careful with this. I will change the water pump here. I put new thermostat and then I will start uh, putting things back together. Okay guys, this is approximately how things are supposed to look like when you connect everything to the crankshaft and to the camshaft. See this dot here? It has to be on the black mark here on the chain. And this one here, if you can see it, this mark here, yeah, right there, the black one. And uh, this is about 12, I believe, and so is this one. Uh, this is, but remember, we're going to have to put uh, the guides here, the straight one go on this side, and the one that is going to be pushing this in. This is uh, just to give you an idea how things would look like. Again, the whole, the, I'm doing all of this because this one here broke in four pieces. Okay, now I need to move this spacer here. Like this, this was on the outside, and this was like this on the inside, okay? I'm gonna put it back the same way. I'm gonna take this one off. Now, remember, see there's a piece here, I don't know if you can see it, let's see if we can point it. There is metal right here, this corner here. This is a piece like a, it's like a lock. Uh, I'll pull it and see if we can, can share it with you. There we go. So you need to be careful not to lose it. Okay, this, this is how it come off. Go back the same way. Just leave it there. Now, let's see if we pull this out. Should come out. Okay, I'm gonna do some WD for you or something to get it out. Should come out. Okay, I use the pray bar and put a plier here between this and this and I just work it this way like this there you go it's coming out okay there we go clean up everything here put this box back here put this back there put the space the spacer and we should be good I'm gonna use this uh, adjustable wrench to turn this like this. If you have the bolts, it's better to put the bolt, but this will work too. Don't need much work. Here we go. Uh, just have this here in case I lose something. And I'm gonna put this up like so. 
Okay, now I know that piece came out from there. Interesting. Okay, we'll put this pocket here back. Now we're gonna put Love this one here, clean it loose with some oil, push it back, and then uh, put the spacer. I'm gonna take off this old spoiler here in the camshaft, put new one, and we can come here. See, this is like at the 12 o'clock. Here is the 3 o'clock where the dot is, and we're gonna look for this arrow. Hope you can see it right there, and it face with this one. Okay. Now, there's a dot and this one down there. Hope you can see it, maybe I should make it bigger. So that's when I need to put my chain. Okay guys, uh, put the bottom spot here. It's back it for the crankshaft. Put the dot here so you can see it better when you put the chain to it. Uh, this one is coming off, I'm putting a new one actually, so I marked it too, and uh, like I said, we need to make sure this arrow here, and focus, right there, it's aligned with this notch here, okay, take all the sparkers for the, the camshaft, I put an extension here, as you can see, as you can see right here, then I'm going to put a 15-16 here, and try to break this one loose, okay? So that's how I'm doing it. Okay, this is how I did, I did take off this uh, camshaft. Uh, this course it's back right it's just by uh, putting an extension here set it over there then I use this one and it's close now actually that's that's it okay now let me show you this is the new one put a dot here so you can see it clearly align this here with this arrow I'm gonna move it it's about right there actually and then I'm gonna talk it to this bolt here from 87, I believe, 216 foot pound. So I probably put 100, that's me. It's up to you. And okay, I moved the extension to this side here, as you can see through here, I'm sitting here. And uh, to torque this bolt, I believe it's uh, anywhere from, 100, uh, from 86 to 116 foot pound. I uh, set it up for 100, and I'm gonna torque it. That's it. Back again. That's it. Okay, the next step, I put the chain, dropped it down from the top here to the other one. Now, I'm going to show, show you something. Here's the mark. The chain itself, it has, sometimes you'll find this like, um, uh, mostly like different colors, but black is common. Here's the common with the mark. And this notch here, it's aligned with the arrow, okay? Then we're gonna come down here, the crankshafts, it has the same thing. Let's see if we can back to you. There you go. I put a, a white paint so you can see it's aligned with the black. Now the chain is just loose, it's just preparing it. Next I'm gonna put the guides, there's one of them. The straight guide goes to the right, which is here. And I have a curved one is going to go to the left. This ones they come with the with the bolts and the, the washers as well, right? 
Okay, this curved one, they're gonna go on the left side here as you face the engine. Did not come with the bolt for some reason, but I have the old one. So it's gonna sit like this. Like this, put the bolt and we'll push the chain. And after that, I'm gonna put the tensioner. It's gonna sit right here to push it. Tensioner will sit right here and we'll push it forward to the right against the chain. Okay, straight guide, curve guide. Uh, we're gonna use number six here. And the torque, there are three bolts, of course. One, only one for this one, and two for the straight one, which is one here and one here. Okay, they are gonna talk anywhere from nine to 14 foot pound. Uh, I personally am going for 11. So, okay, this is the new tensioner that comes with the kit. Uh, it's the same. Now, when I install it, I'm gonna pull this clip out and the piston will, will come out, like this one. There's a spring in the cylinder. Let me see if we can put it right. There we go, like this, okay? Uh, since I have the new one, I might as well put the new one. See the old one has a spring. See if we can get the camera to focus. There you go. All right. It's uh, held in place with two bolts. I will install it when I release this, uh, the, this clip here. It will go forward against the guide. Okay, we're gonna, next we're gonna install the tensioner for the chain. And uh, how it works, the oil will come through here and then uh, put some pressure and the, the piston will move forward against uh, the guide, okay? I'm using my old bolt because it didn't come with one. And the torque for this one, it's really not much at all. They say to torque this, uh, the bolts, it's between 5.1 and 5.8 foot pound. It's not much at all. Okay, I start having having problem putting the tensioner. This one here. It was pushing on this uh, the guides. Okay, it's held in place with two bolts, ten millimeters. So what I end up doing, I loosen the this bracket here, the, the guide, took it out, put the tensioner first, and put the guide, and everything is good now. So I'm gonna tie this to specs, and then uh, release the pen here. Span. Once I pull it, it should push too. Okay, guys, uh, it would be better if you want. You can put the right guide, the left guide here. Maybe it would be a good idea to wait. You put the tensioner first, and then you put this um, the left guide. It's easier and it makes life much much easier. Uh, I slide in this piece here, and uh, I use this. Uh, PVC pipe, half inch, about maybe five, six inches. And I just got it here, went easy. Now I'm gonna put the spacer. Okay, spacer, wanted to see this. See the back has a bump, it bounces flat. The bump go toward the car, like this, there's the bump. Turn it so we can see the okay. Here it is. That's it. Just like that. It's not going anywhere for now, so we're good. Hey guys, when this bracket broke, this is why I'm changing the chain and everything else. It hit what they call um, like jet, jet jet oil. It goes right here in this hole. Let's see if we can. It goes right here, okay? And here is the part, okay? It has one hole on one side and two on the bottom. So what the purpose of it, you install it like close to like an angle where you have like this, where we have this hole here on top spraying the chain and the two on the bottom spraying the sprocket. 
okay the part number for this is this one here so we can see this that is from the dealer I think it's 15 bucks or something like this okay and how it goes like I said put an angle and you push it through it should go if you have resistance just just go easy and get it in it's gonna be it will have some resistance but remember the holes they have to be like this okay here is what I used to install the jet, old jet here I just put it here and knocked the hammer until you get to the stop so that's done I don't know if you can see but uh, the hole went to the sides right here for my finger right here and the other two they are on the bottom okay okay guys next I'm gonna change this two washers they go here yes okay put new ones they come in the kit here are the new ones I'm gonna replace them soon then I will be working on the chain cover I will replace it uh, the water pump here and the torque while I'm here it's six to eight foot pound for the bolt for the water pump I'll put new seal here is the part number for it I got it for uh, from uh, uh, O'Reilly's and this is what thermostat will go this is where the oil pump will go but I cannot put the water pump uh, the oil pump now because I need to to have access to bolt the cover to the engine um, there are no gaskets for the, the chain cover but you need to buy something like this this is uh, came in highly recommended by O'Reilly's uh, so I will uh, go ahead and make a basket with it and show you how, how I did it when I'm done or how it looks like when it's finished uh, this by the way this is the PVC valve and um, to check if it's working you just shake you can hear it's making the noise that means it's working if there are no noises maybe this is your chance to change it okay guys next I'm gonna remove these two uh, see, washer gaskets okay the water pump is in next will be the seal and uh, it will go in this direction okay the groove to the inside there's a spring inside there it goes to the engine like this Okay, groove inside, part that side. Put some oil around the edges and I uh, should be able to just push it in. Again, here it is, you can see it. It goes like this. Okay, like this. Then I start it because I'm just by myself. And then I will use the guide here, like this, and knock it in gently. Okay, here it is. It's flush. Like I said, I use this seal guide, and I just went easy on it. It's not very hard. It was very easy. Okay. All right, guys. Uh, next, I'm gonna put the oil pan back. I end up taking it off. I'm gonna clean everything, put it back. To get reach to get the oil pan out, you have to take this bracket off. Okay. It was here. There are two bolts and nut, two bolts and nut, and you push it down. I took I didn't want to take it all the way, so I just left it here on one side. But to get to the oil pan to take it out, you have to take this off. In my made it seven. So uh, I will put new gasket in the oil pan and poke the bolt in from six to eight foot down here is the gasket right so the oil pan here is the oil pan you don't need any silicone just put this gasket in should be good if it start moving or something you can just put a little bit of silicone to hold that in place okay this is how I uh, made the gasket using silicone so it went around Right, 
Just gonna go ahead and bolt it in. Okay guys, next I install this hose here. Between this pipe here, bringing the water to the, to the housing of the thermostat. And then uh, after that I put the harmonic balancer. I started with the, the hammer, slowly until it started. Now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna use the bolt, you need I believe 27 millimeter. And I will lock the, the camshaft here. And uh, I will start tightening it. And that should push the harmonic balancer in. Now, let's see. I wanna share something also. See this uh, harmonic balancer? It has those notches here. See this one? That's the minus five. Okay. This is top dead center. This is five. This is 10 degrees, of course, 15 and 20. I will need this top dead center, which is the zero. So the first one is minus five, the second one aligned with this. I'm very close. That's how we know you are. If I did everything right, that's what the top dead center. The top, top dead center, you will check it by, I took all the, the spot plugs. Number one, which is this one, and number four, which is the last one. This should be up. And I can tell it's up. And I'm gonna confirm two and three, this should be down. Let's see. There you go, you see how far I can push the screwdriver? And three. See, same thing. So that means it's hard to get to number four to show in the video, but that means one and four, they're up, which is, I am good. Let me see if we can do it, but just. There we go. Okay, same thing, like one and four. So that's four, one and four are up. That's how you know top dead center. But just to show you very quick, this is what I mean by putting the bolts on tighten. So I blocked the camshafts and I'm gonna, and I put the bolts crankshaft here and you can see it's moving. You got the idea and I will talk it to 100 foot pounds. Okay, I tightened this to actually I decided to go with 108 uh, foot pound, did not the bolt, I mean. And uh, as you can see, I would like to align this pointer here with zero. As we, we discussed earlier, this is minus five. Not here, the first one, second one is zero, and I'm a little bit out. So, all I have to do back up this little bit right. right there looks good to me. All right, I will know for sure when I put the oil pump and see if the rotor and the distributor is facing number one. If that's the case, then we're all set. If not, then we need to, to figure it out. Okay, guys, I forgot to put this uh, bracket that's uh, holding the, the alternator. So it goes here, actually. So I'm going to back off these two bolts here. That's uh, 12 millimeters. Put this bracket. Then install the thermostat. Thermostat will go this way, okay? This direction. This piece here, this thing here goes up like this. This is how you install it, okay? So, like that. So I'll put the bracket first, alternator bracket first, then I'll put the thermostat. Okay, I put the brackets for the alternator. Thermostat is in place. I uh, put a gasket maker, it's called Mega Gray. Only in this side, so I'm gonna install it now with the 10 millimeter bolts. Next, I'm gonna put the oil pump, new gasket, and we need to align this mark here in the shaft with the base of the oil pump. Okay, we're gonna fit it through. 
Okay, I put the uh, oil pump in place. You can see here. Just put one bolt to hold it in place. So we came in here with the distributor will go. See if I can share with you how it looks like in the inside. Let's see. It's dark. Okay, here we go. It's supposed to look something like that. See it? Okay. So I'm not sure if this is perfect, but when I put the rotor, the rotor should be facing in this direction. Should be facing this way, the rotor. If it faces this way, it's correct. Then I will tighten the bolts in the oil pump and it should be good. Don't forget to put oil in the oil pump before you install it. Okay guys, I put the, the rotor to check out if uh, my timing is right. And uh, the rotor tip, this one here, need to be aligned with number one. I'm a little off, maybe a couple notch, so I'm gonna go down there, take the oil point, make sure it's still aligned, and, uh, and put it back. And hopefully this will bring this a little bit, a little bit to the right. How do I know this is number one? Well, you take the cups here, the cover, and you put it right there. It's numbered, okay? Here's one. Let's see if we can get the fox. Two is the next to it. And look, it's four. So you can see the numbers. So the one I'm interested in is this one here. And if you put it like this, it will face exactly this dot. There are dots here too, see? This one here, okay? So this rotor, need to be a little bit to the right, maybe one degree, not even, okay? Okay guys, I went down again, I took the fuel, uh, the oil pump, and uh, I found out that it, I think it did move when I put, uh, when I lined the dot with the notch, uh, it did move, so for some reason it didn't, so I aligned it, put it back slowly, put only one bolt to hold it, and uh, we came in here and put the rotor, as you can see here, it's perfectly aligned with number one, and that's exactly what you need. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and pull this out so you can see how it will look inside. There we go. It's dark, I got some flashlight and hopefully you can see. That's how it's supposed to look. How it's supposed to look like, okay? So it's like 12:30. So 12:30, we'll do it. Okay. All right. Okay, guys. Few tips I'm gonna share with you. Um, make sure when you put the oil pump, make sure the shaft, the dot in the shaft, is aligned with the oil pump notch, and uh, you will show here. In like a, the time like a 12 30 kind of like I showed you earlier in the video and also make sure you're still here in the top dead center okay and uh, when you want to install the rotor with the distributor I mean see that notch it goes over there okay it goes inside like that and if you want to know, like I said earlier, if you want to know it's it's is the correct position, this rotor here, sorry, I will go to right there, to that number one, like that. I will, uh, I can't put it, I need both hands to install this, but this is what you want to see when it's installed, like this, okay? Uh, the torque for the, Distributor, it's 9, 9 to 13 foot pound, and for the oil pump, it's from 11 to 15. That's according to the research I did. Hey, this is how it's supposed to look like, okay? When it's done. The rotor, 
going to turn number one. So I just need to tight two bolts, two one millimeter, one here and one down there. So the best way to do it is to mark the hole seam for number one, which I did here in black. That's for number one. I'm gonna make sure to adjust it to face number one on the cap. Okay, next is to put this bracket here. Okay, it has one bolt here. And then when you put this bracket, you're gonna come with the other bracket, like so. It goes in the top of it. Then you're gonna put two nuts, one here, one here. After this, you can see here, there is one hole and one hole, two holes, okay? Those will go to the bracket that holds the, hold the, the power steering. And it will go in this position, let me show you. It goes like this, okay? So two small bolts will hold it. Now the bracket itself, it's held in place by three bolts. Two the same size, short ones. One goes up here. Let me show you. I'm gonna put the bracket down. Power seam bracket. One bolt here, one bolt here. Okay, so you get one here, one here, and the long one, it's on the bottom. Okay. This one here, it will go here. That hole when I get the power steering going. Now, when you put the power steering, remember there are three bolts that will be hold, holding into place. I'll show you when I get there. These are the three bolts for it, and you have to to put them through the holes to get to this bracket here. Okay. All right. Tip: When you install this bracket here first, this one, you can put this bolt inside it then this bracket here will go on the top of it as I mentioned earlier do not tight this knot leave it loose okay once you install this bracket here this one on the top of this one do not tight this leave them loose leave them loose both of them because you're gonna need to install this bracket the power steering bracket like I mentioned earlier there's one bolt here one here and one here okay there are three of them and they are loose as well as you can see this will give you a chance to align this these two bolts with this so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna tight, tighten this three okay then tighten this ones here then tighten the nuts the last okay then we'll unstart the power steering pump okay next thing actually I'm gonna do I'm not gonna put the power steering pump now I'm gonna go ahead and put the alternator so there is a bolt that goes through the alternator to this and there is a nut and this is goes to the top of it where I can adjust it and then tie it later. So this will give me uh, enough room to work without having the power steering pump in my way. Okay, I put the alternator. The best way to put it in, you don't have to keep fighting with it, is to start exactly at this angle. You come in through this way. Here's the bolt. It goes all the way to the back here. I'm gonna put a washer, washer on a nut, then it will go up like this. And we're all set. I'm gonna put my bolt back here, which is this one. That will be leathered so I can adjust the, the belt. So my bolt will go right here to this hole, to the top here of the alternator. Okay? Next is the power steering pump. Here's another tip. I try to put the, the bolt through here so you can go to the alternator. But it did not align. So what you need to do is loosen the brackets. Okay? And it should work just fine now. I have to use my other hand. Here we go. Now it's better. So once I get it started, the alternator I'm gonna go ahead and tight these ones now do not tight the alternator the bottom bolt nor the top because you're still gonna have to put the belt and make some adjustment before the final okay so you're gonna put the power steering like so okay like this 
there we go right 14 millimeter here and 12 millimeters through the holes there are three of them okay you turn and you align you put 12 this is a 14 millimeter okay power steering pump is installed now I'm gonna go ahead and connect the, the wiring to the alternator this one here goes to the top like this, so okay and you cover it here's the plug okay the plug goes here to the top as well there's space for it and then in the back here and if you can see it we'll see if we can show it to you right there there is a bolt there and that's where the ground goes okay you back off that bolt take it off put this in the back okay and then put the bolt back okay it goes in the back okay next thing to do is to install the belt we'll start first with the EC belts you don't need to go through the fan so you're just gonna go behind the fan and you will go to the far groove on the crankshaft and this adjuster and to the EC so basically you just go behind the fan put it in into the last groove like this and then you will clip to the EC and of course I'm gonna adjust it later but this is just to give you an idea what's going on like so okay so the last groove EC and the extender okay now this next one and also always label your belt so you won't get confused the next one it will be the one for the for the alternator and it will be this one here and this one that's here you will have to go through the fan so basically what I will do I'll just go like this and roll roll and it's in so that one is gonna go in the crankshaft crankshaft in the middle like so I'm gonna take the label in a minute and goes over over the water pump like this Let's see. go it's in the middle there and then ah yes I'm sorry it will go to the alternator like this so we we'll go alternator metal groove the crankshaft and the water pump okay the third belt was the power steering belt you will go same thing through the fan is a big one and it will go like so to this one here power steering and to the first groove and the crankshaft But you got the idea so there's the first groove okay and then we'll go to here so that's how it works uh, before I forget I want to share something with you after I will install the the belt make sure they are tight not too tight again I want to share with you something if you see here next to this temperature sensor there is a right here where my finger is not this one but the one here small bolt I think it's 10 millimeter this is how you purge the air from the water so when I refill the car with the water uh, radiator antifreeze or however whatever you want to call it I'm gonna have to loosen this this knot here it's 10 millimeter and wait for the, the water to come out and this way we'll take our, all the air out and I will tighten it back okay this one just want to share this with you before I forget so this one is holding the power steering not that one it's this one 10 millimeter okay we'll put it back okay we'll give it a shot I don't have anything connected but just gonna start very quick and turn it off and see what will happen
Okay guys, uh, here's the valve cover, I cleaned it, and that's the old gasket, this is my new kit, I'm gonna go ahead and install the gasket in the groove, you don't need any silicone or anything here, just the gasket by itself, however you're gonna need a little bit of silicone in this half moon, there are two of them, when you install them in the, in the engine, I'll show you in a minute. Okay, the gasket is installed. Make sure it's flat and it's set good. Right. Next, I'm gonna put a little bit of silicone on these two here, and then I will install it. Remember, you need to install this within two to three minutes maximum. So the sooner is better. As soon as you put silicone, you need to get going. Right. And uh, after that, you'll put the the cover off. Okay, silicone is on. I'm gonna go ahead and install this one. Uh, I'm gonna start with the back one and then come to the front. Okay, back one is installed. Let's see if we can show it to you. Right there. Okay, I cleaned the uh, in here silicone access, access. and uh, I'm gonna do the front one now. Okay, front is in. Now I'm gonna go ahead and put the back one. Make sure I show it to you guys. Back one. So here's the back, that's the front. I'm gonna go ahead and start the cover. Okay guys, I put the cover valve back with the new gasket. And uh, I tighten it starting from the middle actually, from here, this one, one, two opposite, three, four, then back all the way to the end, five, six, seven, and eight. Then I go back again, one, two, little by little by little, like this, so forth, until you get it set. Now, the back here, it's tight and it's weird. This is what worked for me. Guys, this is the end of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and I hope it helps you out. Uh, please uh, give a thumbs up, share it if you liked it. Good luck with your project and be careful out there. Thanks for watching.